Let's take a look at how easy it is to import audio into Digital Performer. As you can see, I've got the Sequence Editor window open and no tracks are currently displayed. All I have to do is drag audio from the desktop into the Sequence Editor window. DP creates a new audio track and names it based on the audio file. In this case, I'm dragging in an Apple loop that has embedded tempo information. DP's preferences are currently set to look for the tempo information and to conform the imported audio to the current sequence tempo. I'll drag the same piece of audio into DP, but this time I'll drag it into the existing track and place it after the first soundbite. I've got the Snap to Grid button engaged, so the imported audio snaps to the edit grid and that gives me a seamless back-to-back -back edit. Now watch what happens when I change the sequence tempo. DP sees that the sound bites don't match the new tempo, so it makes new sound bites that do conform. Now I'll drag in another loop that happens to be four bars in length. Again, DP conforms the tempo of the imported audio, and if I change the sequence tempo again, all the audio in the sequence is automatically conformed to that new tempo. I've got the memory cycle loop engaged. I'll hit play, and we hear the imported audio looping at the current sequence tempo. For my next example, I want to import audio that was created in a different DAW. I don't want to change the tempo of that audio, so I've disengaged the automatic tempo conversion preferences. Again, I'll start by dragging audio directly into the sequence editor window. I can drag multiple files in a single operation, and DP will create a new track for each imported audio file. You can see that the imported audio is not placed at the start of the sequence. That's because there is timestamp information embedded in the audio from that other DAW. Digital Performer sees the empty timestamp information and places the imported audio in the correct position in the DP sequence timeline. As you can see, I've now switched to the Tracks window and zoomed in a bit. I'll import the rest of the audio files by dragging them into the left side of the Tracks Overview window. You can see DP create and name the new audio tracks and place the sound bites in their correct SMPTE timestamp positions. Now I've accurately imported the audio from the other DAW and I'm ready to start working on the project in Digital Performer. Here's another way to import audio. I'll go to the File menu and choose Import Audio. The Import window opens and I can navigate to find the audio I want to bring into the session. I'll select the soundbite and I can audition in this window. When I press the Open button, the selected soundbite is imported into the Soundbytes window. I can also get to the Import window from the Soundbytes window mini menu. Now I'm going to remove the selected soundbite from the list and show how you can also just drag audio directly into the Soundbytes window. I can then drag audio from the Soundbytes window into the Sequence Editor or Tracks window. Let's take a quick look at the DP preferences. The background processing preferences determine what DP will do with imported audio. For example, you can set DP to automatically look for beats and tempo in newly imported audio. The automatic conversion preferences determine how audio will be imported into DP. For example, you can set whether DP will change the sample rate, file format, or tempo when audio is imported. The audio files preferences determine the default file type and whether imported audio is copied into the current project audio files folder or not. So there are several examples of how quick and easy it is to import and conform audio into DP8.